Welcome family and friends and loved ones. Today is a celebration, the celebration of love and commitment, of friendship, of family, of two people who are in it to live together forever. There's a lot of love in this place today, and there's a lot of love in your friends and family that have come here to witness this day, your marriage. All who have traveled near and far, Brenna and Carrie, thank you from the bottom of their hearts. They appreciate your presence here today. You have come here to share this formal commitment that they make to one another, and they need your love and support to allow them to start their married life surrounded by people that are the most dear to them and the most important to them. I vividly remember being a little girl and laying in my bed and I would sit there and dream about who I was going to marry. You are literally the best person I have ever met. You're kind, you're gracious, selfless, calming, funny, and the light of everyone's life. When I speak of you to other people, the words out of my mouth are always He's literally the greatest person you'll ever meet. Thank you for making me the happiest man. Thank you for your strength and curiosity. Your strong independence as a woman. You are my joy, my power, and my every morning smile. You're my best friend. Happiness and joy of life comes from every direction. It's never turned the other way but to face it head on and embrace it. You've helped teach me how to live, how to love, and how to let go. You are every bit of what I am not, and that's why I'm here today. You made me complete, completely grateful. I vow to love you unconditionally until my days come to an end.
I just simply love you. You love so deeply, selflessly, and unconditionally. Carrie, you are the yin to Brenna's yang, the gym to her Pam. From the deepest parts of my soul, I could never have pictured a more perfect life partner for my best friend. Carrie, I love you, man. I don't think I would want my daughter to be with anyone else. You are such a wonderful young guy, and I admire you for the way that you treat my daughter. I can sleep at night knowing that my daughter's in the best hands that she can be in at this point. You know what I mean? And, and that's saying something to me. Our grandfathers were brothers, our dads, our cousins, but we're basically brothers, and we continued that tradition. You're my little brother. You were by my side on my wedding day, and when you asked me to be here for you, you already knew the answer. Never a doubt. So here is to raw, true, unapologetic love. <laughs> may your future be filled with your deepest desires, and may your love stand the test of time. I freaking adore you too. grateful to have known and get to love you for the rest of my life. I promise to never ever bow down to loving you with my full heart and being. Thank you for taking me on, taking me for all of my flaws, troubles, and traits. You are the yin to my yang and were absolutely made for me. I could go on for hours telling you that I love you and that becoming your wife is my greatest achievement yet but I'll save that for the rest of our lives. Promise. You're my guy, forever and ever. Love you, Brennan Doreen. Today and every day, for the rest of our lives. Here's to forever with you. Now that Carrie and Brenna have given themselves over to each other by the sharing of these vows and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that you are indeed husband and wife. Carrie, you may kiss your bride. Friends, I introduce to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Carrie and Brenna Fellers. Oh,